Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Hey boy, you are for ambitious. If you want to see me turn and to stop, put me on a back and put me lot on me pillow. You are for your money, it's gotta work, you will kill you. Your body coulda big, your dick coulda small, your tongue coulda taller than a Jericho wall. If you broke like rat, you can't touch you in my soul. No lean man can't come in my part. Fuck you. Her name is Blondie B and she's making it clear so she nah give up the nookie for free. <laughs> this one is called Jericho Wall, produced by Music Messiah. The instrumental was composed by The Chemist Records. Blandy, I talk up the things them. She said no matter if you're something big, if your tongue stiff, as long as your broke pocket, no loving for you. The way how she constructs her lyrics is not played out. She adds her unique style and flavor that keeps the listener hooked from beginning to end her delivery is calm and smooth which gives the impression that she's in full control and is confident with her craft not to mention her hook is super catchy so you won't have a problem singing along visit her on instagram at blondie underscore music make sure no say a motor massisenio it's with deep sadness that i'm reporting on this news today massive one of buja banton's son is dead. His name is Miles Myrie. His brother Jazil posted a picture of both of them on his Instagram story with a heartbroken emoji. At this time I'm not sure about the circumstances surrounding his death but once as we get the update I'll definitely keep you guys posted. But in the meantime let's keep Bojo, his mom, all his other family and friends in our prayers. Let's pray for strength and for comfort for them during this time. It's never a good feeling to lose a loved one. Sir P dropped a video massive where he's accusing the owner of Bright Light Funeral Home of cremating Nick Photoworks' body as well as lizards. Check this out. We drop a video talking about somebody who basically if they get them hands on you, right, there will be no uh, rising after the third day or the fifth day. Or any day for that matter. Yeah. Matter of fact, they won't even be a body. Yeah. They bury. Matter of about last, never found again. In the project with them, I tell you about the funeral home. I tell you about the bright light boss, Tommy. I tell you, I can tell you exactly what I want in Lizard. Yeah. I want them to Lizard. And why I want to see Lizard again. But then is it alone? It's not is it alone. Enough people. In this video I'm going to talk about somebody else who is well known to many Jamaicans. And he may remember the case. Uh, the same Tommy. Uh, can't help you know. I'm talk about Nick Photoworks. I'm going to hear how this brother the bright light boss told the man devious. The man even helped the family look for Nick body. No answer. Well, I didn't have it. After that video was published, Mr. Brightlight himself took to Instagram Live to say this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not into the habit of responding to negativities, you know, because I'm a God fearing person and um, God knows my heart. Now, there's a rumor, uh, rumors I should say, going around in respect to a gentleman by the name of Sir P. I don't know where he's getting this information from. And to be honest with you, I wish I knew where he was getting such false and degrading information from. My name is Tommy Thompson, Mr. Brightlight. In all my life, and uh, I'm a matter of fact, I'm saying this with God to my witness. I have never once and no occasion ordered anybody to be killed or in any way, indirectly or directly, has nothing or anything to do with anyone who have died under any circumstances. 
Sir P. I don't know where you get the information from, or if they are made up, or you're doing it to get viewerships or whatever, but I'm asking you kindly to desist. Tommy Thompson Bright Light, and I will say again, God to my witness, I swear, you said not to swear in his name, but I'm doing that now. If he wants to get an audit me, then he has that right to do so. I have nothing or anything to do with any of the allegations that is not being made by him. And I'm asking you, please, Sir P, to desist. Tommy Thompson has nothing to do with lizards. Tommy Thompson has nothing to do with my best friend, one of my best friends. And I said best friends. In the sense that wherever we go, he's always taking pictures like anybody else. And that's somebody who has been, uh, who was very, very dear to me. Up to this day. Up to this day. Up to this day, I can assure you. And that humble human being could not have done anything. I repeat, that humble human being could not have done anything to me or anybody that is around me that would have resulted in his death. And I don't know why anyone, whether family, friends, on outside onlookers, sympathizers, would think that this gentleman, Tommy Thompson, has anything to do with his disappearance. Also, lizards, I has nothing, nothing in all my years of business, which everybody knows I have made a massive impact as it relates to funerals in this country. I have no reasons, any reasons at all, to step out of my line of business to do something that is, I would consider, out of bounds for my services. Never, ever, ever done that. I don't own a cremator. The system is in this country is so attached in direct contact that there is no way I could have done that. Because there are only two cremators in this area of Kingston. And everything, and these two cremators are professionals. And they follow procedures. You have to go through procedures. And I don't think, I don't know why anybody would bring anybody to me then under circumstances to dispose of under any circumstances unless it is legit and legally done. And I'm asking, Sir P, I don't know you. As a matter of fact, it's my intention to seek advice on this matter. I'm asking you, please, sir, to desist from putting my name out in a negative light. I'm asking you, please, to desist from your actions. If you want to speak to me at any given time, sure, you can speak to me. You can Google me, and you can get to me, and you can speak to me directly. But I'm asking you, please, kindly, to desist from these allegations, which has no basis, has no merit. And I, and I plead that in the name of Jesus Christ, because I know me, and my God know me. And who is close to me, know me. I am a man of dignity. I stand with a dignified standing in this society. I work hard for it. I didn't buy it. I didn't hurt people to get where I'm at. I work hard. I have changed this industry. I brought it to where it's at today. And I don't want my name to be flagged in any way. Thank you, sir. Want to believe myself, Sir P or Mr. Bright Light? Let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below. So that's it for today, Massive Montana. Big up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the Massive. I'm out of Massey. Magan. Mount Massey. Mount Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.